I'm from Lamont, Illinois. My household was was pretty pretty entertaining to say the least. I grew up the youngest of six. We have six children. Um, they are named in alphabetical order. We decided that we would um, make it easy, so when I got older, I'd remember the names. The oldest is Aaron. From there, we had Brett, and then we had Connor, C, and then Derek is D, E, Erica, and then finally F is Flynn. We do have a G, and that is our dog, Gunner. I wasn't allowed to have a dog until the kids were kind of out of the house, so my wife finally let me have a G. <laughs> All six of our kids have been able to play collegiate sports. We've had four play football, and our daughter played softball for Loyola. We had one son that was a wrestler for SIU Edwardsville. Being the youngest, you know, it's, it had its positives and its negatives. I definitely got beat up the most, definitely got knocked down the most, but I think the experience of seeing my older brothers get recruited, um, I think that was really great. Flynn is eight years younger than Aaron. Aaron was being recruited by a recruiting coordinator named Pat Fitzgerald from Northwestern. And Flynn saw that. He saw me take Aaron to visits, and it left such an impression on him. Then next came Brett, who unfortunately battled through a ton of injuries, and it was you know, really unfortunate because really talented guy. And then a little bit of a gap, right? And, uh, and then we get to Flynn. My brothers, the best advice they gave me was not to waste the opportunity that I had in front of me. And I think that's the, the best piece of advice they could have given me. Over the years, with some of the regimens that my husband set up for my kids, I would say they, they did things because they knew that that was expected, but Flynn sincerely always wanted to do it. He always put in the work, and he's waited his turn, and I'm thrilled that he's having a great senior season. Flynn just loves the game. He plays it the right way, and he shows a lot of confidence in a guy that uh, has made a ton of plays for us. Close to Mr. Third down, Flynn Nagel. Deep ball caught, first down, and that's up, Flynn Nagel. I try to just enjoy the game as much as I can out there and not think too much. Just try to perfect my craft as much as I can with the abilities that I've been given. If you look at his career since he's been here, it was cut short as a true freshman due to injury, but he's always been you know, a pretty reliable player for us on the perimeter. Touchdown, Nagel! And that Nebraska game was a good statement for him. Caught by Nagel! with no one between him and the end zone scores. After the great start to the year he had, he's getting a lot of the focus from, from the secondary and you know, forcing defenses out of what they are comfortable doing. If he's one-on-one, -on -one, he's going to win 99% of the time. We have a lot of flexibility within our offense and trying to move him around and give him different opportunities to get different matchups. And he's studied his rear end off to learn all those things and then gone out and been successful with it. And the zone read, they connect with Flynn Nagel. That has been the main target. Hitting the thousand yard mark for me would be really cool. Not a lot of guys here have done it. So it put me up with some of the greatest receivers that have played here. For a kid that's worked as hard as he worked, to have an opportunity to be one of those receivers in, in Northwestern history, I think it'd be pretty special for him. But we have an opportunity to win the Big Ten West. That's my main focus. I don't care if I don't have a catch the rest of the season. If we win out, I'll, I'll be much happier than if we let this season slip out of our hands.